mixers, I am making mixes. And um, just like you can buy a box mix at the store, these mixes you make yourself, put in the cabinet, and in the pantry, and then pull them out, grab what you want out of them, put your wet ingredients, make it. Just like the box mix, but you don't have all those ingredients that you don't know what is, or it's enriched with that, or have extra stuff you don't need in it. Anyway, I have moved from using mostly regular flour to iron form for my family. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but it's really low in gluten. It's not been hybridized. Uh, I use an organic, so no pesticides. And if, if you uh, are on a gluten-free diet, it's not completely 100% gluten-free, but most people that has celiac disease or anything to do with gluten can eat this. Um, it, it just don't affect them. So anyway, I'm gonna give you my list of ingredients. We're gonna put them in our empty jar as usual. I've already got most of mine made up, but, um, and then you'll just be able to pour out what you want and add your liquids and I'll give you that. So for this half gallon jar right here, um, we're gonna use seven cups of einkorn flour. We're gonna use four tablespoons of sugar, or I'm trying to, of course, stay away from all that sweet stuff, refined sugar. So I'm gonna use four teaspoons of Pyure. Uh, you can buy that at Walmart. It's a, a stevia mix. Let me get the package, I'll show you what it is. This is Pyure, this is what I use. It is organic erythritol, organic stevia leaf, and that's what it is. So this is what I use. Um, you can use a different kind of sweetener if you want, whatever you like. I just happen to like that one. So that's what I use. Um, two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of baking powder. Always try to go aluminum free, okay? Get your aluminum free baking powder. Uh, two teaspoons of salt. Of course, I'm using Himalayan. It's my favorite. And one teaspoon of baking soda. Pour that all into a big pan. Give it a stir. And I always like to put mine through a sifter when I pour it in my jar. And if I had helpers today, it would be really simple. But since it's just me today, I'm just going to... There we go, pour it in and sift it in. There we go. And sift this into my jar. And then, of course, I'll probably shake up my jar a little bit afterwards too. But this just helps mix it. If you don't have, if you don't have a sifter, don't, you don't have to use it. I just like to. I think it does really well. I can get it all out. There we go. The sifter is as old as I am. <laughs> um, there it is. I always run it through my funnel. Tanning funnel. It goes in real good. So this is my mix. Of course, I have on the front of my jar and the back of my jar. Uh, see, there's the what it calls to make it. One and three fourths plus two tablespoons of the mix. Then two eggs and one and a half cups of buttermilk. Of course, if you don't have buttermilk, just take you uh, the cup and a half or cup and all, just under a half and then put you a couple tablespoons of vinegar in it and just let it sit for a minute and it'll clabber up and, and, and it'll taste like buttermilk. Um, of course, for my mix, here is the mix. If you want to take a picture of that so you can mix it. Um, if you want to use regular flour, 
I'm sure you can because they're interchangeable except for that the einkorn requires 15% less liquid. So with this, you may have to add a cup and three quarters of milk, buttermilk, something like that. You'll probably just have to add more milk. Should do the same thing then. This is handy to have on hand. If you're like me, you just want to make pancakes every once in a while and you don't want to have to measure out everything, which is usually not that hard, but we've become so easy to pour out a box and add in water. Well, this is just adding milk and two eggs. So easy peasy and uh, it's really good, tastes good. Uh, you can add up to a cup of fruit if you want, chocolate chips, whatever you want to it, just like you do any other pancake mix. It's easy, it's simple, and it's good for you. A lot better than what you can buy in the store. Most of them have artificial something in them. Anyway, this is the good stuff. And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll make it. Tell me what you, tell me if you liked it and it worked out for you. Thanks, have a good day.